image but I think what I want is the state right before this so what I want to do is push what I have because I think pushing what I have I've got my sounds Go into the GitHub. It has sounds. So it does have sounds. There's a create a new release. So right here, right at this one, with a couple of sounds. Just for turning and ending the game. Also a pre-release. You can be V0.2. Okay. And there we have it. So there's that, and now we have a couple of releases. So all the things I have, I've got these two. All right. So this is quite groovy, and now close off all of the things what I got now is I'm loading I'm loading my my um, uh, pot. it is actually loading it and now I need to show a score so I need a score Uh, counter, nope, int score. There we go. Uh, well, we'll just we'll just do this thing. So int score int run length. And over here, when we reset the game, direction is one. Score is zero and run length is zero. Every single time you scroll, then no sales. Else, run length plus well. Run length plus plus. Super swell. Draw. All right. Nope. Whenever we we're we're getting un we're getting downright untidy here. Score plus equals run length times run length plus one over two. So there is score. And yet really this is a Uh, 
not yet. Not yet. We're just get we're just getting it in. So let's let's get that it now counts score. Commit it. Ooh, not quite. It resets your run length. Okay. Also have to reset the run length. Length. Yep, that is that is an absolutely awful misspelled misspelled checking comment, but I am. It's okay. This is what happens when you rush. So when I draw, when I'm drawing, that's update. When I draw, uh huh. So that what is this? This is set that to oh yeah, that's that's my walls. All right. <sighs> Digits is okay. So int digits equals at least one. Always at least one. Int temp equals score. File temp greater than nine. Digits temp equals ten. Just counting the digits and RC x plus equals in constants. With. <clears throat> so we always have at least one digit. Like always, we calculate how much, how many other extra digits we have in the score. Uh, and we also do need <clears throat> so we also have SDL. Correct. Source equals let's say zero zero game constants cell width and game constants cell height. Let's put a space here. Put a space there. That's silly. Yep. Uh, uh, uh. No, comma, 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 comma. There it is. So, okay, D, everything's fine. Okay. So, while, we're going to go back to int temp equals score. File digits greater than zero. And. <clears throat> So int digit equals temp mod 10. Temp equals 10. And digits minus minus. And we're going to have 
as we sell high times three, I think. Times three. All kinds of hard coding going on here. All right. Take a pointer to RC sirs and then RC RC X not equal game constants sell width plot out. Does this? Well, let's find out. Let's find out if it works. There should be a little zero in the corner if this works. Nope. Okay. What's the problem? Temporary definition. All right. Okay. It builds to score. Interesting. All right. So I also have to have RC C X equals digit times of our game constants cell width. Hey, all right. We have a score, and that's a thing. That's a worthwhile thing right there. That's a that's a committable thing. We have a score. And then um, I could I could make a full on write a write text with this thing, but I don't think that's what I want to do. What is your problem? Uh, oh, run like the score. Score zero. Bing, bing, bong, 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 bong. That's really annoying. I should I should put that in so that other others can hear it. To turn that stuff down. That's that's just that's obnoxious. Oh, it's really obnoxious. Oh. But how far can I make it? Uh, 
fuck that out. <clears throat> Rather good at this game for the most part. See if we can get to 10,000, and then we'll be done for right now. And that does it. And then make sure that we restart. We do. Okay. Excellent. Good times. Okay. <clears throat> the score works. So what's, what's the change here? Now, oh, adding and run length to initialize or list. Get that, pushing that. I don't have to make different things. Okay, draw text. Let's let's have a let's have a draw text little function here. Void draw text. Uh, uh, into int, and an int, and a string, and a, and a const string. string in here string we do we also need cut we do we do need color but let's let's be let's be cheap and sleazy about it Here's update and here's draw and what do we need for that? We need um, our three units. We'll just do it that way. Eight. So we will just bring that in. Y'all. String, that's the text, of course. Um, R, G. Uh, B. No, and B. Is it SDL? Set texture color mod of ROM font group 8. R. B. Takes care of that part. Uh, rect. SDL rect. RC. I need an RC source. I do. I need an RC source. And 
that's just going to be zero here. That's going to be a zero. I'm going to also say RCDST. do I get here? This is a char. That's fine. Pulls, and you'll be column times game constants cell width and you are row times game constants cell height. SDL copy rect copy render copy render copy get uh, main renderer uh, bot eight by eight my bot texture RC RC source and RC DST. <sighs> so that's I don't have it calling anything, I don't have it drawing anywhere. So if the game's over, we say press space to start, right? Under the draw function, where's my draw function? Draw. Make sure we here at the end. If game over, then draw text um, zero. So we call it. Uh, I have no idea. Start the zero. Uh, game constants. Board rows minus one. I will say press space to start. It's fine. So we'll go. You're going to be 128. Yeah. 128, 0, 128. And it's actually going to be so minus 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 11, 11 and a half. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, twenty, one, twenty, two, three, twenty-four. So, the game constants, board columns, minus twenty-four, not twenty-three, minus twenty-four, and that's how you center. Do it work. It's not gonna do it's not gonna do me anything, is it? No. Because I'm not setting not setting C source dot x equals ch sixteen times times and constants cell with And the x, the y, the y is that divided by 16 times the cell height. Perfect. Yeah. 
it's trying real hard right there. But, oh, okay, so it does that, and then see dsd.x plus equals game constants. So, with, and then we move over by one, and then maybe it will say press space to start. Yay! And then it doesn't anymore after. Okay. And we'll just call this commit press space to start. And we want some sort of um, sort of control about being muted. Bool mute. Um, it's a negative thing. I don't. I don't like it. So muted. Muted starts out as false. Up oh, there's a puppy who's gonna want some attention. Yep. All right. So I have to, I have to take care of a puppy. Do it, 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 do it,
He's tearing things up in the bathroom, so he's now back into his crate. And so that's gonna be how that goes. Yay, puppies! in what's our oh we have we have a muted flag we just don't have anything to do with Put a thing down here saying that the game over is that M to to toggle mute. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. eight. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So minus eighteen minus two. So that's gonna M to toggle mute. And uh, we only have that control for the moment. Well, else if and that's STLK STLK M M yes muted equals not muted. There it is. <clears throat> but now we have to wrap up the play sound function. So let's Alright. <clears throat> We're gonna need a play sound. And all this thing does is it checks for the muted state. this call Get play sound that and perfect and Play game. Sounds on. 
turn up mute. Dun, 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 dun. Boom. Good. Okay. I'll even have it be a little bit different. Based on where we're at. So if mute head else that there. So um if muted to we'll just say unmute we'll to mute and to mute. So what is this? We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. That's eleven. Oh, that's fine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. There's thirteen. There you go. Um, to mute. Um, to mute. There we go. Now we actually have some responsive-ish kind of controls. You can only do it at the at the screen. And this is one of the things I wanted to verify. Yes, it's right here. So if game over, <clears throat> if score. No, oh, yeah, we're fine. This is good. There it is. All right. Um, and then the game. The game is MVP, really. Properties. General. What is? What are we? What are we outputting this as? Advanced. So where's the thing that says this is what I want it to be called? General. Ooh, it's four o'clock. <laughs> Input there, that. How does it know? Okay, where's all options? Where I want to say it's the command line. Because where's the thing that tells me there's something that says um, out? Okay. All options. There's got to be a thing saying this is what the this is the file this is the file name we want. <clears throat> so like a output output file. Okay, not target name. Okay, so what's target name? Where do we def where does target name get defined? Oh, dir target name. Okay, so that's all. This is all fine. So SDL two sandbox is is a <clears throat> it's a game. Let's get the muting. Okay. So one of the other things is I want to be able to serialize out some options. And so how do I want how do I want that to be done? Because I want It's simple. I want it serialized. What I want it to be loaded in. So at the moment, what do we got? What do we got? What do we got? So what's here? What did I? What have I done here? Okay. So we've got a mute toggle. We toggle the mute. We play a sound only when not muted. 
Okay. We'll say added ability to toggle mute for cells. But the one thing that we want is that that I like a I don't know C plus uh, plus configuration file lightweight configuration library that's what I want boosts property tree. Property tree. Where do we get this from? This is okay. Uh huh. So does that mean we got to bring in boost? So uh uh. <clears throat> okay, so here's it. So I've got, a, so I've got a choice, right? I have got uh, serialization to do, and human human readability is is or is not a goal. I don't know yet. Because I can say um, so here's my here's my game options, right? All right. Yeah. Okay, obviously, I can go ahead and write a file. But let's let's get our game constants. The game constants. Um, static const std string options file name. We got some other cleanup to do, for one thing. Some other stuff that needs doing. And with game constants, options file name, equals options dot, yeah, I don't know, just game options dot bin. What the, I'm not even, I'm not even certain I want, to, want it to be human readable. And I don't need that as public, so I'm going to have class, not even class, struct type def struct game options. Um, bill mutate. Start. I want to load from my file. Load options. I'm going to say load options. And load options is going to be its own little function. Void load options. It's going to be great. Okay, so here's load options. Void sandbox application load options. Now I could go Fulpen. I may go Fulpen. Fulpen. And you are game constants. Options file name. C start. And mode. R. R B. So I'm going to close. I'll be able to do file. 
star f equals fopen that close f. So, what does fopen do? Fopen. Fopen. Here we are. And what does it return? A return pointer. And what do we return? If it's successfully open, it is a file, otherwise a null pointer is returned. So if if f else. So we open it, we gotta close it. It's the truth. We should do that. Otherwise, we're just going to say, oh, we're loading the options, and we say muted equals false. So that's, these are the things that we care about. And then we're going to do a freed. Freed F. Nope, F is the last one. Um, we're going to have a game options. Game options options. Freed buffer is at options element size is size of game options. I'm going to count there's one of them, and then there's F. F is the stream, and we say that muted equals options dot muted, but so it's, we're in a very dangerous spot. So how how okay. So here's the F. F6. So if I didn't even find it, right? So if I F seek to the end of the stream, so if I F seek F zero seek end F get Pause F. So F is it F tell? F tell? Yeah, alright. So if F tell uh, equal to <clears throat> that. to say equal equal I think because I think F tell tells me right F tell that the one F tell F tell F tell turns the current value of the position indicator of the stream now okay now so I have to all right I'm close so I seek to the end if F tell equals that then I'm gonna close the stream regardless so I'm gonna F seek F zero seek set. So seek to the end. Where am I? Am I at, am I here? Then I'm going to set it back to the beginning. I'm going to read it in, and we're going to we're not validating anything. It's but we're we're not only validating that the file is the right size. Only here. This is the only place where we're gonna tell. So else, we do have to have we'll just unchanged. We'll leave it unchanged. So then we attempt to open it. 
we're going to load our options. We also need a save options file. Save options function. Void. Save options. Save options. You are save options. Save options. We're going to write binary. I'm going to say if, if, if we do that, then we're going to. Let me delete a file. Uh, there's a F. So C plus plus. Um, looks like just C standard library delete. Remove. Let's remove. Is there actually a remove? Huh. Remove. Well, what do you know? Well, look at there. Okay, remove the thing. Now. What happens? We have a remove, okay. Mm, failure and nonsense, error number. Should follow the volume, okay. All right. All right, so I'm gonna really it's the absolute. So to say, I'm gonna fright it. F and then F close. And we'll go say you are the uh, game options options. Let's set you up the values options that muted which was muted. I'm gonna fright it. It's not that and Let's see if it all works out. On the event, you start the game, you get to this not muted, save options. Just immediately save that file. Let's see what happens. Let's see what blows up, if anything blows up here. Build errors. Okay, for one thing, that's not working. It's open. It's not safe. We're going to fulp an S. Do the same thing, really? Okay. Okay. What's the difference here? So. Okay. No, no, I'm quite curious. Okay, so here's Fulpen. We look for Fulpen S. No, nope, not here. Um, I don't know. What do we got? 
give me something. Open S. What do we return? Turn value. Load any. Yeah, yeah. I don't need it. I'm writing binary files. So then. Equal no PTR. Okay. Okay, let's see if you're going to be happy with this. Okay. Not by mute. Okay, so now I should be able to close it. And now I should be able to run it. It should still be muted. Aha, uh -huh. okay. So success has been achieved. That's good. I can I can persist muted option to file. So let's go see what that actually looks like. To the containing folder. Is it right here? Oh, there's my game options dot bin. We'll open that with code, and we'll say, "Oh, that's a, that's a thing." Open in. Can I switch to reopen editor with the hex editor? There is. <laughs> <laughs> it's one thing. Alright, so it is that. It is that. And then what are you? You are the end of the file. You are one. You are one. Oh, I think it's the SNES properties. You are. How big are you? No, not you. Not you. Okay, properties for you. One byte. A one byte option file, binary writing. But you know what? That's okay. It's quite alright. If I do something else, I could do something else. I could totally do that. And now. Pretty, pretty much it, isn't it? Okay, so I have options. I have. Well, let's let's turn the mute. Let's let's turn the lovely sounds back on. Now I'm sure there are some awful things in my code. Oh, there's a game options dot bin. Can I ask? I should. Actually, I need to remove that file. I want to delete this. I want to. So I want to 
want to not have that. Uh, still two, still two sandbox. That thing, I want, I want no game options dot bin at all. Changes, we remove it. Don't check in the game options file. Step one, don't do that. Step two, run it and get it into the get ignore. So I'm gonna mute. Unmute. And we're going to uh, ignore this local item. Okay, so we add to the get ignore. Change get ignore to not care about uh, options file. There we are. Okay. And so at that point, this is a pretty decent spot where we're going to do now is we're going to take a look at this code, which is now atrocious. Okay, so saving options, it's fully within here. All right, what is your problem? Local variable is not initialized. Okay, now it is. This is so magical strings are magical, but it's also with Fopen, and so it's well known. Okay, let's all right, let's get into game constant, game constants, fine game constants. Thing. File write mode and the file read mode. There's three options write mode, options write mode, and options read mode. And over here in game constants. Saving them so it's right mode. Let's see, stir. Read mode. All right. Um, magic number of one. There's one. Hmm. But whatever. Okay. Uh, file name, round font, file name, turn, sound. Okay. Get other file names. Okay. Round font. Round font, file name. Turn file name, and we have a death file name. And turn sound font image file name. Okay, those are fine names for they tell me exactly what they are. That's a full that. Okay, super swell. 
let's get your ROM plot 8x8.png. You are and you are a turn and you are So well, that's pretty there. Get it over here. Render and constants. Wrong font. Which file name? C starter. Plow and plow. You are turn sound file name and you are death sound file name. Okay, we're going to have a um, award score function. will be the new direction that it's in. is not equal to that then do the thing so I don't even have to really care here I just say oh, uh, turn so we just call you set direction can't we call you set direction set do next direction We'll call you set next direction because that's not the same thing. Set next direction. There that is. Do the thing. So set next direction is one. Okay, but so. It's still one and a minus one. First, see if it works. See if it works. If it works, then we'll do something else. It does. It plays the sound. Responds to the muting. Good for me. Huzzah. All right. But so, game constants. And I have a direction. So, static const int direction. Left equals this one. Static const int direction right. So now we use these. Uh, static const int initial run length zero. Static const int initial score zero. So let's get some of these things. And we're going to do a static const int um, option record count. Okay, so I really am. It's it's obsessive. It is obsessive. I know. So, but even here on the one, so game constants. 
options record count. There's only one record. But the thing is, here you go. Okay, I'm reading. That's the size of the record. So that's the element size and that's the element count. So you know, I'm reading one copy of the game options into options. I don't have to think. Uh, direction. It would be game constants. Direction. Right. Game constants. Initial length. Game constants. Uh, initial score. Here, game constants, initial score, and game constants, initial run length. Game constants, direction, right. that ah okay so there's 16 uh we have to have rom font columns like constant rom font columns good times so that's got to be in ground font columns. So this has to be ground font columns. Okay, constants. See in the end. Um, my severe like. My severe dislike of magic numbers and magic strings drives me to do that. I even want this because mix play channel go to the definition. There you are. Specify the channel. See, even that, it's. I don't have a constant for it, right? Or do I? Yeah, I don't. I don't have a constant for it, so I want a constant for it. Static const. Equals minus one. So is this really necessary? And then what is and no loops. Static const int no loops. I don't want I want to read this code and I don't want to have to know what a minus one means. Any channel. Any constants. No loops. Whew. Because this, I play a sound, I go, here's my chunk, that's obviously my sound, so I, I, if I'm not muted, then play that on any channel, that's the chunk, and that's, so I don't have to think very, very, very much about, about any of this. Zero and zero, 
and that. <clears throat> this is one where I hem and haw because it's like, um, we'll put it, I'm doing it. <clears throat> Gonna be insane. Okay, static const int default x zero. Static const int default y. Game constants. Default x. Game constants. Default y. So let's get these things in here. Okay. <clears throat> Fill out the source. Rectangle is that. And this plots out that. That's our plotter. So maybe we do a plotter is the thing. Initial config. You said game does that. Okay, these are these are magical magical things. But for this, I can do a draw centered text. I say draw centered text, and I take out the first one. Draw text. Where's my draw text function? Where are you? Where'd you go? You are draw text. Draw cent centered text. We take out the column. So, which is really just a draw text, uh, which is two uh, row text. It is game constants uh, board columns minus text dot zero length. Is it size? It's size. Centered text. Don't do this junk. And we'll just also draw centered text. So, okay. Ooh, 10. So, okay. And even the 10. Even the 10. <sighs> oh, I'm, I'm this I'm this bad I'm this bad static const int score radix this time that's right that's right okay cancel Equal to score index. Okay, that one's a zero. Ooh, should be game constants. Constants. 
digits. Round font digits row. Round font digits. Font digit row, in constants, round fonts, digit row. Font. Oops. Sorry. There's that. Okay. Just minus two. Uh -huh. First, let's make sure everything's still working. Bulk. Yep, everything is still there. We will commit this at this point, uh, moving a lot of magic numbers into constants class. Gonna be game constants initial counter. Is that one? Static const int initial counter equals zero. So now I'm curious. So we're going to go game constants, initial game over. We'll say initial game over. We'll also say initial muted down here. To do a bool. Static const bool equals initial game over equals true. Static oops, run const bool initial uh, muted equals false. Okay, so those all have. All of these, everything here has values. Okay. Open that. We load in the things. We have no magic strings at all. Seek zero. This one. Put a comment. Seek to end file to determine position. Set to beginning to start a file for reading. Good. So when we load the options and we don't find it, do we really even change things? No, we sure don't. If we find the file, then we load it in, then we do the thing. Okay, so I load the options, and there's no magic anythings here. Okay, this is run length equals game constants initial run length.
We'll just have a calculate score from run length. Static int calculate score from run length. Int run length. Return that. Okay, so. Length and we just go. That's the formula for it. I don't have a. I don't have a way to make these things not magic. It's a triangular number. Devises risky behavior. Incentivizes risk by keeping going in a particular direction without turning. So that's really what that's for. All right. Okay, so that's that's left key, right key. <clears throat> I'm need more coffee, man. I got no coffee. On the event, true. We may wish to factor this out, but set next. Ah, here we are. Game options. Nope. Game constants. Nope. Not game options. No. Nope, nope. Game constants. Direction left. Game constants. Direction. Right. Tail size. You know. So many ways to wrap this up. This is okay. This will have to get wrapped up into a function. So this is the last block. If the last at the black, okay. The magic ones are a little bit more tricky to remove, as well as the um, the stuff about color. So. so we may have to wrap that up in order to clean that up. Digits, bulls. There's always at least one digit. So I'm not always. There is always at least one score digit. Well, digits are greater than zero. Oh, well, I can just say wild digits. Divide by the score radix. Decrease by one. All right. Uh, all right. Uh, this, this I don't care for as much. There's a mute message line. This is a start message line. So I want to go static const int start message row equals uh, board rows minus one. Okay. Static const int mute message row equals board rows minus two. So I like that much better than this. This is mute message row. Says okay. There's a place we know about this place. We know what that is. This is a start message row. So we know here's the start message row. These are the things. Here we go. There we have it. Usually, <laughs> and 
Yeah, the box you tell us right say. No magical stuff. Uh, that's just how you determine the center. Okay, make sure the things are still working. And then, and then. Boom, 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 boom. Pow. All right. So, 312 lines is what it takes for the main logic of this very small game. Oh, we call it 311. And so it's time. So, the rest of removed, the rest. Rest of the reasonably easy to get rid of magic numbers, leaving two one zero for but but commented. Okay, push that up, and actually, what we'll do is. Get a we go here, we go to the GitHub. And we're gonna put a new release. This is the zero point three three pre release. Um, we have code complete. We have save all options. Code is relatively magic number free. This is a pre release. So there we have it. All the things. Oh. Pronounce anything for notes? Oh, God. Okay. So we can take a look at any of that, those things that we want. So now, but the game's done. Game's done. Game is done. So, which pieces do we care about? And shall I? Shall I make a real early a deployment? We go with a new folder. Deploy. And of course. So let's go here. Oh uh, wait, we have to we have to switch it over to release and it may or may not actually build. Might be missing something. Ooh, we have a size T to int. So we can't do that. So, okay. Data. Commit that. 
So then, all right, and then F64 release. Oh, can I, did I build it? Where is it? So, steel two, steel sand two sandbags, blah blah. Release. So here's that, right? Go with a deploy, and it's going to tell me a bunch of things. One of which is I need SDL2 mixer and SDL2, all these things. To the point where I probably want to have a different folder. So there's a project. Nope, not project. I need that in lib because these things live in lib. Need you. Obviously, need you. And we need image. Now, I don't know which one it needs. I believe it needs the PNG. And we mean, mean, need it means the license. Well, I know I'm loading a PNG. Um, and then also the mixer. The lib x64. Then in addition, okay, so it's probably gonna just, ooh, okay. Didn't, can't load anything. So I don't have my so it at least loads and then so projects 2021 deal two so we're gonna have that that and that Really no. Hmm. Do I need all the things from Wonder what all I need from SDL image? Because there's all this stuff except the lib file. Let's try it with that, because there might be other replacing. Alright. I don't know. Okay, so that works. See, so, so I don't know which things I need, which things I don't need. It may need all of them. So we'll call it you. Shit. By 2021. So that's not so bad. Do I have here? I don't want. Um, my, I need to change my git ignore. Win with code. So what I want to do is I want to ignore my deploy directory. You. Then over here, it should just have, hey, get ignore, ignore the deploy directory. And so, let's deploy. Like twenty twenty one works, and then 
Zip, zip. And to I'm just gonna call you to I two 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 one win dot zip. We're gonna go over to itch. And where's my dashboard? Jet lag 2017. Okay, so this is a jet lag 2020. So we're gonna take jet lag 2020, and we are going to edit the game. We're not. We're going to um. Where's the thing that allows me to say? It's probably at the probably at the bottom. Restricted. save <sighs> now we go to the dashboard engage with your audience post your development log to share updates oh really People playing the seafarers. All right. So all these things, silly things. So like 2021. Make a new game. Their new game. Plus, plus game. Make make the game. Make the game. Upload your project. All right. Title. Jet by twenty twenty one. It's fine. Short description or tagline. The same game I make every year. Notable, I'll call you in in dev. Uh, we can go ahead and, and do the thing. We'll say that here you are, projects 21, STL2, STL2 sandbox, deploy, and there's that. You are Windows only. Yes, it's one of the long yes. Is that forever? Not this time. Send the pitchforks. Genre, the action game. We got the timing rhythm. I don't know. It's not a puzzle. Okay. Just noun. No. All right. Uh, MS draft restricted. Okay. So we'll save it for now. Okay. Stick to there. And I'll download view. Okay. Maybe dangerous. It might be dangerous. Keep it. Alright. So right now. And I go onto itch. Do I do I have to have it released on on, on the itch app? Yeah, yeah, that's me.
Couldn't find the package. Okay, do I have to, have to make it public? What do I have to do to make it public? Dashboard. One. Oh, we can't. Let's edit. What do we have to do to make it public? Restricted? Can I do restricted? Can I do it now? Still no. Can I do public? But unlisted. There we go. Save. All right. But well, to save it. I think I do. Okay, saved. Through the page. Refresh. There we are. Okay. Can I install it and run it just like so? Okay, can I play it? Uh, no. Okay, so what's the redistributable? Okay. Although, all right, so let's go. Sure, all right. Okay, it runs. All right, and I only have to bring in SDL and stuff. That's cool. That works. All right, that's not bad. My creations, there are these things. All right, so that's on itch. It's kind of public. That's where we are. And now I am sorely, I am sorely in need of some more coffee. And we'll get to doing more to this. Be right back. That's not what I'm saying. Do it, 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 do it,
Yeah, it's at like 2021 on the itch.io for Windows only. And that does what we need to do. But we're not done yet. We're not done yet because there are bits and pieces of all of this that... Um, well, this is a good reference project. That's what that is. So most of the time, uh, copyright or render what is it drawing the drawing text right here so a steel render copy and having source and destination rectangles This is going to get us where we want to go. But so, how do I want? So, what's the next thing, right? There are Lots of games. Actually, what was it? There's uh, so I don't want to. Okay, I currently don't want to make anything that requires a mouse. I'm totally content with a strictly keyboard controlled thing, right? So let's get to doing things. Let's get to making us something. So, okay, jet lag is always the make a reference implementation of something here, right? For the next trick. So really one of the one of the one of the key takeaways is there's this application.cpp, right? So this gets put into my common area. As 
well as does main. I mean, really. Okay, so main and application.cpp are the one true thing. that I get to make and use. But do I, do I copy, I don't want to copy pasta it. Can I like add an existing item? Well, all right, let's go to GitLab. And right in here, I'm going make, to make a new repo. I'm going to make a new repo. Um, and CPP. Um, this is that a readme file, that a get ignore, choose a license, MIT, whatever. There we go. Uh, we're going to do Visual Studio. We're going to create the repository. So this is what I want. I want to Okay, so back to SDL2. So this is this right here is my root git clone that thing. So here's the common CPP. I don't want to be writing this stuff all the time, right? So you and you and you take you put you over here in common CPP or do I not do that at all no I don't okay TLT sandbox TLT sandbox application application and main all right I am completely checked in. Oop, let's. Actually, we'll go back here and we will take a look at our repos. And we will pin to release. Uh, what are my current ones? V0.4. Okay, make a new one. Adapt a new one. V0.4. Re release. I added it to itch. Pre release. There's that. But so we're all happy. Everything is copacetic there. Okay, I don't want. Where are you? You are here. Projects. Twenty one. Steel two. Common CPP. Okay, so we got all that, right? So here's what I want. I want to remove you. To delete it and delete it. And delete it. I want to add an existing item. But it's over here. That one, that one, and that one. So let me see. How does it differ? Does it and it does it do relative things? 
do the history view the changes. Build, rebuild. Why not? Why can you not open it? Build, rebuild. Such a file or directory. <sighs> what do I put as do I have to actually like add that to my well get it to work at all is the thing my directories Oh, okay. Do I have to? Okay, do I have to do that? Okay, so I can't open that. Can I do this? All right. class and main function into common CPP uh, repo. Do that. That's what we did. But so then we have us common M uh, moved from SDL to sandbox into common area and get push. I'm gonna say there's that. Okay. And so Adding a willy nilly dependency. So those things get where they go. <sighs> and they're likely to get moved around, right? But generally speaking, is this okay? And is there anything game specific? And no, there isn't. It really just creates a creates a thing to loop a loop an application into. So that's that's not a bad thing. So now I have a starting place. I have a starting place for the next game. But are there some more things that this could have? So let's take a look at what sort of things. Okay, 
so this is uh, okay. Let's push that out. So yes, that one is somewhere. That one is somewhere and has to get built. Now, there's always the ability of, hey, do I do I make a dot lib file for these things? That's a different that's a different thing. So right now we're just we're just bringing common common things out into a common place, and then we can put them into a library later if we wanted to do that. Basically, I just want to code reuse. Loading options. I don't think that's common enough. Um, Yes, we could. I wrap things better. Yep. Oh my god. Nope. I think though. Okay. Let's get let's get this stuff. This is draw back. So draw background. Draw tail. That's draw. Score. All right, so I can I can I'm gonna refactor this down. So step one is a draw um, draw background. That's what you gonna do. Draw background. background and that's where you go here okay draw background do your work I don't want release anymore come on let's go back to debug So that's our where's draw? Where are you? Draw. This one is draw tail. Although we say draw background. Now we have draw tail. Draw. Draw tail. Here's that we don't have an RC anymore, so we need the RC. But here, as we can tell, set up the same way. You're okay. We check it. We test it. Works. Done. Draw tail. That and there's draw. There you you are drawing. It's white, so draw blocks.
Bla 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 bla. that drawing blocks do this say ooh no, no, don't do that 150 I, my eyeballs are old or C is cell width and window height and this goes in okay Game constants and no no uh, default and game constants alt y and you get to be default y again. Does it still draw? Am I missing anything? It does. Wow. Great. Uh, this draws the walls. Although we just drew blocks, is that right? We drew blocks. Uh, blocks. Yeah. <laughs> blocks. That's, that's fine. It's that's that's Klingon. Klingon for blocks. That's what that is. So draw walls, void. Draw walls. Take you. Go here. To. So now draw walls. Semicolon there. All right, this is now draw walls. Oh, that one's ugh, that one's draw score. You know what? I'm gonna I might move them up. But let's get let's get to uh, to this before
Right there. There's draw score. Is you working? Let's make sure you're working. You do. Drawing hints. We're going to draw hints. Avoid draw hints. So there's you. Okay, so now draw is broken down into little functions where it makes a lot more sense to do what it does and break it down. <sighs> we only do it if the game's over. Okay, we make sure step one we we do this. Okay, it still works. Draw comes back. Uh, drawing hints. First part. I'll draw int refactor. Commit to that. And then um, I'm going to have a draw mute hint and draw start hint be different things. Void draw mute hint. And void draw start hint. Say draw mute hint, draw mute hint, and draw start hint. The mute hint is this one, and the start hint is this one. Control K D. Make sure that everything is still there, and then we've all refactored. We've broken apart. This is convoluted. And there's undoubtedly a better way. There's undoubtedly a better way to do this. Oh, we got magic strings. Can't do that. Can't have magic string. That's a magic string. Those gotta be constants. Finished. Uh, hint refactor. But we have magic strings, which we can't do. So we have static const std string. Int, int, text. Unmute hint and start. Okay, so there's there's an unmute hint and there's a start hint. Okay, there's 
that. And constants. Let's that. Let me just take you from here. Here's M to M to unmute, M to mute. I'm to mute. Space to start. Now what? Okay, hints going into this. And constants. Hint and constants mute hint start hint. So I'm not muted. Okay. So it's all correct. I uh, moved hints into constants. <sighs> Two. I put these notes on here. Oh, okay. I can also. So this is update two. This is update blocks. Check the game over. Check game over. Or should I just handle game over? Whatever. It's all fine. Let me adjust the timer. So this whole thing is uh, update board. There's a whole update board function. Yes, sir. Update board. That make sure it works. Make sure it all works. Sure does. Update board. And at this point, we want an update tail, update blocks, and check for game over. Void update tail. Box. Void update. Let's check. Uh, game over. So, 
these are the things that this function does after so update board then further splits it into Not game over. Update tail. Update blocks. Check for game over. So the update tail goes up here a bit. That does that. <laughs> Suppose we handle, we put a handle, this is a handle key down. Play, this one's handle key down, game over. So that's at least how that goes. So let's get those things. This is, what is it, uh, SDL key code. The only thing we care about is that SDL key code, right? All right. All right, handle key down. So we'll I think it takes a bull handle key down SDL key code. There it is. Oh, what do we call it? This is the sim, right? That. So we start with turn and no key down. T key key sim dot sim. The only thing we really care about. So we take this whole thing. But you're
with the type key code. Ah. So there's key code and then key code. Okay, that's just sim if sim is that. Otherwise, if sim is that, then do that. Otherwise, if sim is that, and if sim is that. So handle key, handle key down is split out. Make sure it still works. We can mute and unmute, we can start a game, we can turn left and right. So we're good, good to go. And okay. At all. So let's oh, not that one. game over then it's return handle in play key down Sim. Okay, make sure that it all still works. It does. Good for me. And I can't turn the mute on, can't toggle mute. Okay. Great. And now it is time to get some people up. So it's going to be. It's going to be be raid time. We got Tim. We do got grass. We want a grass. So thanks so much for Hanging out, and now we're going over to Crash because we wish to just Crash. And away we go.